transition more into your other persona of Juliet Simmons. <sighs> that one's a persona. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one, that one needs a bit of work. Oh <laughs> No, no, no. It's, um, gosh. It's weird now because, like, my name is out there, you know? Like, I was that person that was like, no, we're, we're just gonna be this anonymous person online. But now, 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 now my name's there. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you transition into anime voice acting? So that one, I feel like it's an unbelievable story, at least, because I feel like people don't believe me. And, you know, from the way it looks, you would see, like, my channel started, you know, I started working on that, like, 2012, 2013, and I think. Um, and then you see, like, you know, me voice acting, like, a little, like, a few years later, and people might think, like, oh, it's, it's, it's the channel, you know, the channel popularity, you know, they, they saw her and they're like, that's the girl, that's the girl that's gonna voice anime. And it's like, no, that, that <laughs> definitely didn't happen. Um, it's kind of like two different parts of my life uh, were running at the same time because uh, when I was a kid, my mother decided to put me in musical theater, uh, like five years old. And uh, basically leave me there. Um, and so I grew up with a family that loves singing and acting. And so I've been almost every summer of my life to acting classes, to dance lessons, uh, summer camp shows for crowds of no one. And <laughs> like you... You have these funny stories now of like, you know, the firemen had to come in and say, you can't rehearse in here. It's, you know, it's going to burn down. And then you do it anyway. And, <laughs> you know, I thought that's kind of where it would end. And um, it didn't. Like, it, it's that moment where you're like, oh, this silly thing in my life is never going to like really be anything. And um, somehow... Uh, so this is going to sound confusing. So my eldest sister, Alyssa, who's like 10 years older than me, is really into cosplay. And for a while there, she was going to conventions, uh, cosplaying, you know, uh, all these different things. And she would have panels and she'd kind of do panels on, uh, you know, skit performance because she majored, you know, in musical theater. So she was an actress. And... Uh, apparently Chris Ayers, you know, she was talking with him and they found a lot of things in common. He's like, you know, you would be really great um, in voice acting. Just, you know, come come down, you know, because the uh, studio's in Houston and uh, just hit me up. And <laughs> Alyssa being Alyssa, she didn't hit him up because um, she was like, no, no, I, I can't. I'm not, I'm not good enough. And so my second sister, Genevieve, um... If you know anything, she came before me in voice acting. She was like, hey, you have this contact with this guy, Chris Ayers. Let me, uh, you know, let me ha have lunch with him. And, you know, I'd like to say that it was all about Genevieve's charm and persuasion. But it's really that, you know, we, we all in this family <laughs> have these resumes already put together because my mother thought I was going to be a child star. Um... <laughs> And so you already have this resume kind of there, and it came in handy because, you know, they're like, hey, you know, anyone with acting experience, you know, and when you have things in common, they're like, yeah, come in. Yeah, okay, let's, you know, let's talk. And um, so, so Genevieve was in there, and I can't say that I was jealous but jealous was definitely a word you could use. Um, <laughs> like, to the point that I was toe-tapping, I was finger-tapping, I was so restless hearing about it. I was like, why is she doing anime voiceovers? I love anime. I love it more than her. Like, all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, calm down. <laughs> like, for one, calm down, Juliet. Um, and so what did I do? I decided, well, if anything, I'm, I'm going to sit on the couch. And so... Every time Genevieve would go into the studio, I would sit on the couch. And 
I would just sit there. And sometimes I would bring my homework. I would bring my food. I would draw in there. You know, I just, I had to be there. And this was going on while I was doing the channel. The, the two things were completely separate. And, you know, I, I, I talked with, you know, Chris Ayers. I talked with the engineer, you know, like I talked with their kids because the kids were in there. And it's, it's funny because, you know, I had sworn to never get back into acting in any way, shape, or form. And then here I was, on this couch, desperate. Like, and at one point, you know, they were like, hey, you know, your sister, uh, I know that she also did acting, uh, and we need this extra voice in here, you know? And I was sitting on the couch reading a magazine, like, and I was like, yeah, heck yeah, I can do that. I, I didn't think I could do it at all, but, you know, <laughs> you just say yes to everything. And... You know, here and there, I would kind of help out because, like, I had nothing to do. And I think, really, the big starting point was that there was a show called AKB uh, 0048, um, <laughs> and they needed people who could sing. And I was like, hey, I can sing. <laughs> And of course, I wasn't like, hey, yeah, me. I was more like whispering under my breath, you know. And so they were like, yeah, you know, if you can sing, you know, can you do this and this and this? And gosh, <laughs> it's kind of funny when, you know, you say you can do one thing and then they actually like hear you do it. And they're like, oh, you weren't lying. Oh, I'm like, truly, I was like, what? Why would I lie? I'm the most <laughs> pure person in the world. Um, and so, you know, we started out there and, uh, you know, they're like, yeah, can you sing this? Can you do this? And yeah, over time, I can't say that it was just like, bam, wham, bam. You know, it, it was like really slow. Like I had failures. I had auditions that didn't go so well. You know, I had uh, a lot of history just kind of failing over and over. And then, you know, I'm here now. You know, I, I feel like I'm still trying to trying to get there as, like, a voice actress. I'm like, am I there? Is this, is this there now? Is this, am I cool now? Like, so yeah. Yeah, there, there's a lot of history to it, but I think it's just been really slow. <laughs> I don't think it's that slow. Oh, for, for you. Me, well, I guess I'm looking at it <laughs> for me. Outside. Like, oh, she did this, and then all of a sudden, now she's got a lead role, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty darn good. And you're like, uh, you're well, watching I, your sister, and you're uh. like, <laughs> oh my god, yes. Like, you would not believe how time went so slowly. I was like, please. And like, I'll say this, that you know, being in the booth is not something that um, you're ever prepared for. <laughs> like, you're never going to be prepared. And I think that was my biggest lesson was like, I'm never going to have, you know, this script beforehand. And it's never going to be like, yeah, just super easy. Let it let it come out of my mouth. Like, yeah, it. For me, it was a really slow learning process of like, okay, what is the groove I have to get into? I'm still trying to figure out what drink I should bring. Like, <laughs> I wish that were, I wish that were a lie. So has that been kind of getting easier, that sort of transition? Like, I know with dubbing, it's all about like matching the flaps and sometimes you have to rewrite the script like oh right then gosh. and there. How's that been working out for you? <laughs> so I wish that rewriting the script was the hardest part. Um, really, so I, I didn't know anything about dubbing until I, I went there. And how it is, at least now, uh, at Sentai, and I'm pretty sure I can talk about this because it's not like a big secret, um, is you've got this room. And inside this room, you have an even smaller room called a booth. Um, and when when you're closed in here, like, it's a heavy door. You know, there's there's no air escaping. Um, and it, it gets hot. Like, hot. And you are given two screens 
uh, one screen has the script and one screen is the anime. And you have to imagine that you are now able to use each eye independently um, to look at both screens, but you can't. And um, basically, as you're doing this, they have your character highlighted and... uh, They'll be like, okay, we're going to pick up from here. And most of the time they're talking to the engineer, the audio engineer, you know, like, hey, this time code, this and that. But the thing is, you don't really know when they're talking to you because you're in this room, this airtight room where you can't hear anything. And like, sometimes you can just see their mouths moving and you don't know if you're supposed to be like, yes, or are they like talking to me? So as an awkward person... It's uh, it's been an experience, but I think I think one thing that really uh, people don't know is at least at Sentai you don't get to see the script until they have scrolled down on the document and you see <laughs> the words, and um, it's not that you know how many flaps there are gonna be because in the end that's going to be, you know, their problem out there. Um and so you just kind of I've had to kind of separate it cuz I like to be really uh specific on the flaps, but now I'm like, okay, you just you have to say the lines. You have your number one thing is to act. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, a lot of the times, you know, you'll say it and they'll play it back and they're like, "Oh, we have to we have to shorten it or can you say it faster? Can you say it slower?" Uh, can you add a pause? And they'll rewrite it. And they'll rewrite it. <laughs> uh, sometimes if the script just doesn't fit. And um, I would say that, yeah, it's um, it's like a really fast but slow uh, thing. Because <laughs> you're, you're going fast. But then there are these big pauses of like, okay, how am I going to do that? Uh, <laughs> like, I remember... Oh gosh, there was this one line uh, in a Kamiga kill, which uh, I didn't know was going on TV until later. Um, and it was her big intro line uh, where she's like, you know, uh, I can't wait to see you and then beat and then sister. But they wanted sister to be extended. And when you think about it, how do you extend that? <laughs> you know, I started sounding like a snake. I was like, sister? <laughs> like, and so that, you'll get a lot of that where it's like kind of frustrating for both like parties because, you know, you want to do it right, but then they're like, well, we have to have it like this, but then it doesn't work like this, but we want the right feeling. So I would say that it's a very... Um, It's not very clean process, like many people might think. (laughs) Especially when you're cackling in the booth and then the audio engineer likes to take little snippets of you cackling horribly and then save it. Um, He has dirt on literally everyone. He has a folder. (laughs) Good guy. (laughs) So you brought up Akame Ga Kill and it airing on... Tsunami. So, how did you feel when you found out that that was going to happen, and you know, TV goers were going to hear your voice on their TV? Because that's still, I think, a big deal. I know people watch anime a lot on their computers, oh, yeah. but being on TV. So, if I could curse right now, <laughs> uh, like holy moly! Um, I was in New York visiting my sisters, uh, you know, like I do, and I think it was over summer. And, gosh, I was having a hard time. I was like, man, everything I do is so tiring, and, like, I'm not getting anywhere, and, you know, just... And then you're on the subway, and it doesn't make it any better. And, like, we were we were walking uh, to an ice cream shop, and, like, I was already pretty happy by then, because I'm like, this, this is the peak of life, eating ice cream, <laughs> you know, in this ice cream shop. And then... My sister gets a text um, from one of the other actresses uh, talking about the show. Um, And up to this point, Sentai had not had any shows, to my knowledge, on Toonami. Toonami was, yeah, still still, uh, coming back. And um, 
it just it it wasn't a thing that really ever crossed your mind you know there wasn't ever a chance of like being on tv you know um and so she got the text and she's like hey you know a Kamaga kill is gonna be on tsunami and i was like what no it's not and so we like look at it and then we look at it some more and then we see like the official announcement and I start freaking out because we we had only recorded the first season. And I remember when they called me in because it was like the one time that I was like really, really unprepared. Like, because I was like, yeah, I can come in today. Yeah, yeah, I'll be in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, I had, I had tried to go to my dad who'd watched the series, actually. Um, like, he was a big, he was a big fan. And I was like, dad, dad, tell me, tell me about the series. But... He was he was busy and so like god like the amount of crunchy roll i had to like you know go through i was like oh god oh god you know and um yeah so on the way there i'm like looking through and i'm like gosh this is a really you know this is kind of important part are they, are they sure and um you know i go in and you know i think i think i thought it was a joke uh because they always like to put me as little sisters because uh, they know my older sister, and so, like, I'm kind of that that person. I'm like, oh, you people, you people are so funny, because uh, I, I bring so much food in the booth that the snack <laughs> thing, they just looked at me, and I looked um... at them, and I was like, you, you, you people. Um, but yeah, when I came back, and I was like, are you serious? This is going to be on TV? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was... It was so much more nerve-wracking, I think, at that point. Because, you know, now you're like, oh, God, you know, this is, is going to be it. You know, people are going to judge you for this. And, like, because usually it just goes straight to DVD. And, like, maybe one person on Twitter is like, hey, I saw that thing. And it's like, oh, cool. You know, but, oh, my gosh, so, so exciting for me. Because it's hard to explain, but I have Toonami on VHS like, because back then we would record Toonami. Like, <laughs> could see the Oreos commercials from like 19 something. Um, and it was just, it was amazing because when Toonami even just came back, I was so stoked. I was, I was calling people. I was like, do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> and so for me to be on it, I was just like, <sighs> this kind of really speechless feeling because then you are in one of the commercials you know in the in-betweens and you're part of that and you're like ah, i i don't really know even now i'm like really don't know how to explain it but you know for me i think it'll forever be something that's uh <laughs> that kind of validates my reason for existence <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm still pretty stoked about it. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad you're still enthusiastic about it. Oh yeah, I ooh, I was on Twitter every night. <laughs> it's like, look at this. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> it's me. It's me again. God, God help me. And something else exciting just happened. You got best lead vocal nomination. <laughs> For your role as Ryoko Sato in Aura Mariwin's last war. Oh yeah, and you should uh you should definitely um <laughs> should definitely check out that movie because um actually the movie itself is just it I hadn't seen it until they told me about it and I went home and I watched it and I was like, Oh my god. Like why, why aren't people talking about this movie? This is so, like, it, it takes basically what Chunibyo was supposed to be and then takes it seriously. And, you know, the bullying and all that. And, like, I was like, I don't know if I can do this role. Like, th this is, like, real. And, again, I feel like most of the casting that they give me is, like, almost as a joke. Because, like, the things they know me as are the person who eats in the booth, um, the person who has candy in her bag, um, <laughs> the person who is actually a, a huge weeaboo um, and loves anime, which, you know, you would think, like, everyone there would be, like, as stoked as me, but apparently they aren't. Because, um, <laughs> you know, you're one of those people. And, like, so when, when they gave me the role, 
I, I had to ask the director, I was like, so, so who, who told you about me? And what did they say? Like, <laughs> did they tell you that I'm, I'm this kind of person? Like, I didn't even say it. They're like, oh, well, kind of. And I was like, <laughs> but anyway, they're like, no, but like, you know, good acting and all that stuff. And so, yeah, um, <laughs> Like, I feel like getting a nomination for that one is especially weird, because um, usually series, if you're recording for a series, you have, like, uh, you're booked for, like, eight hours, sometimes 13 hours, or even more. And for a movie, you know, that's, like, two episodes. Um, and so you, you're not you're not even really in there for that long. But there's, you know, so many more important lines. And so, uh, I've never done a movie before, especially doing that big of a lead. I was like, oh gosh, I, I don't know about this. But I was dubbing over one of my favorite, favorite, uh, Seiyu's. Um, she does, uh, uh, Akane in Psychopaths. She does five billion other roles and... I was just like, I don't know if I can live up to her. So, so yeah, definitely getting that nomination was like, oh, well, these are, this is a thing. Um, like, especially up against, like, Ghost in the Shell. I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> keep your pants on. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll stop at that. <laughs> and then we have another exciting moment in your life. You got to be... Chio Sakura in Monthly Girls no Saki kun And I hear that's one of your favorite series. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, still trying not to curse. Um, <laughs> like, the thing is, is like, I had read uh, the, the, uh, gosh, I'm, I'm losing myself already. I had read Ore-sama Teacher, and uh, I, I still, I'm still reading it. And I'm like, this, this lady, she is, she is so funny and so inventive and like you know it's almost like every single work she does is like making fun of exactly what she's doing but like it's still like charming and funny and like i have literally like whenever uh gekkan shoujo nozaki kun came out i was reading it and uh the scene oh my god where <laughs> where he takes the bicycle and um he, he has like <laughs> six seats for the other girls and he's yeah. like i saved you a seat <laughs> Like, I literally, I took my laptop, ran into my sister's room, and I was, like, bawling. I was like, look at this! <laughs> look at this! <laughs> like, still, to this day, I will, like, I will... It's like those series where you're, like, you're laughing so hard that you're crying. Like, <laughs> it's beautiful. Gintama does that for me. But, like, this... Not only did I not think that this would become an anime, like, and it did, um, and I was all over that, and then they were having, I knew that they were having auditions for it. And I was like, oh my god, please, 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 let me be in it, please, I'll do anything to be in it. I'm like, funny story, uh, they called me in for an audition, but they don't tell you what it is. And I was like, I'm so sure it's going to be Gekkan Shoujo, I'm, I'm, I'm so sure. It wasn't. Um, <laughs> and I got in there and I was like, oh, uh, oh, oh. But this is still good, you know, and like I finished and I went out to the couch and I was talking with the receptionist and, um, you know, we just talk about stupid things. And then she's like walking back and forth and she gives me a piece of paper and I'm like, what, what is this? She's like, yeah, you know, um, you're, you're going into, into see Kyle, right? And I'm like, I am. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you have an audition. I'm like, but I just had an audition. She's like, you have two. And I'm like, well, tell me sooner. Um, but yeah, and I looked at the thing and I'm like, ah! <laughs> like I, I was about to pass out. And the fact that they gave me a script for Chio, because that's, that's what they were trying out and they were considering me for, I was like, oh my God, like Jesus. And so I had about uh, two minutes to look at it. Um, <laughs> But I, I've seen the series. I've read it. All. I've, I mean, I was, I was ready just to go in there and be like, now see here, um, and so I did that. 
I went in and basically while they're setting up, because I know these people, I'm like, how dare you not tell me that you were doing this? And like, you know, you're joking. Um, but of course, because I don't know when to stop talking, I tell them like, I have read this. I have read other works by her. I know this series. Like, because you just, you can't stop talking because you're that big of a nerd. And so they're like, okay, you know, just just do the audition now. <laughs> like, just just go. Um, and so I do it, and they they actually audition uh, the the very first scene where she's like spaz, um, and of course I'm a spaz at that point, and so like, <laughs> and so I spaz, and um, like it's really quick because you just go yeah. in, you do it, and they ask you to read it a different way, and then you walk out, and. Oh my god, it's so hard to contain your heart after that because you're like, I know that just happened, you know, but I can't like get too attached to this, like I can't, and you know, and so you try to put it from your mind, and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna, gonna do my my school, I'm gonna do all that, and then oh my god, I got that call from uh, from the receptionist, and. Uh, Usually they call to book, you know, uh, to book times. And uh, she tells me that I I got into an audition, or I, I had gotten the audition, and I didn't know which one it was, because <laughs> I've been to two. And then she tells me, and I literally, I say, okay, excuse me one moment, and I scream into my pillow. I, I've never been one of those people that, like, screams at, like, even concerts. I screamed oh, yeah. and like I, I could feel like my hand shaking and I was like oh my god she's like yeah congratulations okay now we have to book your times I'm like okay okay um and it was just it was it was insanity the the week between me getting that audition and then getting that call and then going in to record it I was a mess I was I was like I can't get sick I can't get sick I can't get sick I have to be perfect but yeah, it. I have to say that show was one of the funnest times I've had in the booth because, you know, you love the show, you're getting to be in it as a main part, um, you're getting to talk with, you know, the director about, like, how this joke should be and, like, what they think of this joke and, like, I, it, it was just, it was insane. You don't... You don't usually especially get those roles of being a funny female that's down to earth. It, it, it just doesn't happen. And so I feel like even now I'm just, I feel like all my luck has run out. <laughs> like th this was all my luck. There it was. But I can say for sure that, um, <laughs> that the, the, the show was very well loved when, when we did it. And, uh, oh, even, no. We went to go do the premiere not too long ago. Uh, <laughs> you know, I got to meet really the cast finally and um, good people, especially Nozaki. <laughs> good, good guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> all my luck. All my luck went in there. <laughs> <gasps> Still getting over it. <laughs> At least it went into something that's really good. I know, like, oh, oh god, would have sucked for school. Like, ooh, I got into a great college, ooh, what's that gonna do? Change my life? I think not. <laughs> so then, the final question, and maybe the big question is, what's next for both Juby Bonnick and Juliet Simmons? Ooh, <sighs> man. Doesn't make it. I'm like my therapist would ask this. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> what's next? Um, immediately, uh, what's next? You know, I'm definitely working on a song that. Uh, well, basically, okay. So through Patreon, which has been like my new mainstay, uh, I've offered a way for people to help choose what songs I do, and so um, this next song. Uh, definitely has been requested a lot, like a whole lot, and because of that, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like I have to put a lot of extra work into it. So, you know, hiring artists again, 
Uh, I'm getting help from Rachie, of course, on video, um, and even getting some mixing skills from uh, some good people in the community. And uh, so that's going to be immediately my next project. But, you know, um, working on some uh, really big long-term group projects as well, you know, uh, that... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that they have to again be on my butt about because you know they're like hey that due date is coming up and it's like oh whoops i have five lyric documents to put together you know <laughs> um that's fine i'm fine with that um but some things i can say you know i'm uh definitely working on uh this t-shirt deal you know because one of the goals was to finally make merchandise that you know Easily, I could have, you know, thrown something together within a week or a month, but, you know, I really wanted to do it right. So, again, I'm having to be that businesswoman and go around, talk to uh, different groups about deals, you know, uh, talked with, uh, I think, Spreadshirt, uh, you know, one-on-one about, like, hey, what can you do for me, you know? Um But then also, you know, go into the community and really ask uh, the artists in there to do, you know, different designs. Uh, Because, and I I find this really, like, mind-blowing. Like, for some reason, like, the people that within the community are, who are selling merchandise, uh, at least as singers, you know, they don't really use the the resources that are there because there's a huge huge uh group of like amazingly talented artists uh just within you know this community and um i feel like it would be an especially great thing uh to commission them to do you know these designs because I feel like half of the time, like, using the money from uh, Patreon, I'm just, I'm commissioning artists for different, you know, projects, like, uh, like videos, just to see, like, oh my god, have you seen this person's art? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's definitely going to be something that, uh, again, kind of embodies the community, hopefully, you know. Of course, arguing about, like, okay, how many colors can you get me on this shirt? Like, <laughs> so we can, like, make this real nice. Um... <laughs> So yeah, working on that, and um, for me as an actress, uh, it really, I can't really say anything, because, you know, contractually bound, Um, but I think there's going to be good stuff, (laughs) I think think there's going to be some good stuff in there, Um, especially during the summer, because, you know, don't have to... Uh, sacrifice school for uh, <laughs> for booking hours. That's true. Because <laughs> you can't really tell your teacher like, hey, I gotta gotta go dub some anime today. <laughs> Unless they're a fan, then they're all on it. Exactly. But then they're like, can yeah. you get me like a walk-on or something? <laughs> Not like a walk-on. A walk-on. Yeah, can you get is. me like a little bit part? Like screaming in a crowd? <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> Which is truly the most... Uh, fun fun part you can have but yeah no it's um it's gonna be it's gonna be good you know i (laughs) i'm trying to kind of recoup my energy uh from finals to kind of get into Mm -hmm. summer mode you know to be like yeah let's do some big projects and like you know get our hands dirty and uh definitely not sit on twitter all day (laughs) 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 which is which is a bad habit (laughs) It's good. Awesome. Thank you for talking to me today. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I definitely wasn't, you know, uh, any anything hard for me because I love talking. Um, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, uh, I hope that you have a wonderful summer. Um, and uh, if people have any questions, you know, hit me up on Twitter or Tumblr. <laughs> All under Julie Phonic, naturally. Naturally. Naturally.